drawing file and point file. Um, to start, you're going to want to create a new job. So we'll come here to jobs, create a new job. We're going to call it test one, green check. Uh, again, I've got another video on this uh, earlier or several years back, but the software's changed and the way it looks and some of the some of the terms have changed. So this is just an updated version of what I've done in the past. Um, so to start, we'll bring in the drawing file. So we're going to come here to jobs, import. And then we're going to, data's got to be lines. And then format's going to be DWG, AutoCAD DWG, okay? And we want select file units on. And when we come to settings, we want all these things selected on so we get all the features that are coming with the, the DWG drawing or the DXF drawing. Um, so we're going to go next. For the DWG, I always go defined in the file and hit next. What that does is the software is able to recognize how it was exported from, from AutoCAD or Revit um, in terms of uh, the units itself. Next, we're gonna go ahead and pick the drawing that we're after, and it's this one here. Now, just so you know, you've got this path here that'll take you several different directions. Um, like, for example, if I go here, I go to local disk, program files, you know, and you'll notice that I start to get farther along. So this is your file explorer. So when you save files onto your, your tablet itself, you just need to know where they're put and what folder, and this is how you get to it. So we're gonna go back to the folder that I was looking for. It's on the USB drive. It's this guy here. So we're gonna check it. It'll load it in and it'll give import successfully finished. We're gonna go ahead and close. We're gonna go take a look at that drawing file real quick. So it's here. Um, we look good from that perspective. Now let's go ahead and overlay the points. So we'll go back home, job, import. We're going to change data to points, and we're going to change the actual uh, format to top context custom. So you can have a TXT file or a CSV file. Um, we want to select file units again. For this particular customer, they're U.S. inches. Most of my customers are U.S. feet and inches, so it's important you know, you know, how the file is exported from whoever's preparing your files, whether that's U.S. feet and inches, U.S. feet, U.S. inches. This particular customer is U.S. inches, but the majority of the time it's U.S. feet and inches if you're in building construction. So next, we're going to find it. There's TopCon points, okay? Now, this is important here, so take a second to describe this. So you've got name, Y, X, Z, elevation code, and then underneath, you'll notice I've got name, X, Y, elevation code. So what happens is you've got to make sure your orientation is right, meaning Y, X, or X, Y. Typically, it's Y, X, um, but if you import the points and notice that the points are not lining up with the drawing like they should, more than likely, it's this switch here. So you would just flip the orientation, so instead of YX, go to XY. Um, and if it's still not, it's still giving you issues and it's a scaling situation that reverts back to well, how we brought it in the file units um, for, for the points. So I know it's YX. We're going to hit next. Yes to all here. Close. Come home. Plan. Boom. So we've got our points overlaid like they should be. Um, in the right spots, and that's all there is to it.